I run a sports club and most of the software that you would use to manage the clients, the participants, the adults, the parents, the carers, the, anyone that's involved costs money. And what I want to try and do is use Obsidian to replace that system because most of those systems aren't as flexible when it comes to managing the periodization of the individuals, the session plans, as well as all of the finances and the safety details and emergency contacts and the rest of it. So today what I want to do is create a register inside of Obsidian. This is the vault I'm currently working with. You can see it's called eSpawn Trampoline. And this is just a normal file sports management system. And I'm going to add some things that I need to get done. So you can see I've got a few things I want to get done obviously this list will probably increase but I want a member page so each individual member having a page for the properties and information just like you would have in any other database so that requires the properties what sort of properties date of birth emergency contact those sorts of things then list of days so when I go on to that member page I get a list of the days that they've attended and I've just realized I probably want a list of days that they haven't attended as well but they were scheduled to so if they booked a day but then they haven't turned up I want to know that they were meant to be there but they didn't then total days a number of the amount of days that they've attended and I've added a list of payment but I probably won't get around to that today because I want to solve this first problem and then the list of days yes and no and then the total days will probably come under an attendance record but what that looks like I'll probably figure out as I start building a skill record which I will expand on later but just an area of the member page to say okay this is the skills that they can do these are the skills that we're working on and this is some sort of periodized plan which will probably go to an excel spreadsheet because it's it's easier on there but we'll figure that out again later and then a register for appearance so when we go to a new session their name appears and say okay this person is meant to be here today if I go over to the files plugin you can see I've got a few folders I've got the attachment folder which normally you'd have in any obsidian vault I've got the days which is just days that turn up you can see I've got my calendar down in the bottom right information people folder which is probably where the files will go and then templates if we go into this members template file you can see we've got some properties bg number that's basically for insurance purposes so individuals will be registered with british gymnastics and they get a number so that can go into the properties date of birth that's a date so if i left click go to property type it's a date whereas if i left click on the bg go to property type this is a number then i want the mobile number so let's just change this to a number email now i've got the email as a list because there could be multiple emails like for example i have more than one email address so i've got this as a list and then roles if i click here you can see we've got coach director and participant because i've already got myself in here so if i quickly switch to myself you can see you can see i've got bg number date of birth i've got the email i've got two different codes i've got my mobile number roles session first aid safeguarding so these are different courses that I've done which is probably going to be role specific and these sessions are what I think I'm going to do so we've got for example Friday session one Friday session two and these are individual files so if I click on Friday one I now have a Friday one session if I go back and click on Friday two now I've got the Friday two session and if I scroll down you can see I've got this attendance heading it's just a heading with a hash we go over you see attendance skill library and this is a data view query so if I go to the settings community plugins you can see we've got data view as a community plugin calendar natural language date quick add task and templater data view is the one that i'm using at the moment and when i have a look at the code i'm looking for the table i'm removing the id and then adding in the first line to say file.link as name so bring in the name of the file which is there danny hatcher and then i'm also bringing in the property danny hatcher actually looking at this i don't want name i want date so now i have date and this is going to show the two dates and then true and false so if we have a look is looking from the folder days and not the days sessions if i open up the days folder you can see we've got sessions so these are like the the actual training sessions friday one friday two and then we've got the days that people do things if we have a look in the calendar you can see a dot so 14 15 16 if i click on 19 it says do you want to add a new daily note create and now we have a new day. If I go back, it's not going to appear in this query because there's no Danny Hatcher because when I come into here, it says where Danny Hatcher is not undefined. So if I bring up this day in the other side and go Danny Hatcher, two colons, and then say, let's say false, you can see it's now appeared as another day. If we go true, whoops, true, then it's going to change the false to true underneath the attendance section we have a, a skill library section and this is me fiddling around with tables to see what i want it to look like if i go back to the plan i can probably turn these into tasks actually and say yes i've done properties lists of days yes and then yes and no kind of 
because I've got the list of days here. Now I think if I go choice and then put the property in there, so Danny Hatcher, if it's true, it will say yes. And if it's not, it will say no. And then let's change it to as present to say whether they were present or not. There we go. Yeah. So yes, yes, and no. And just out of personal preference, I'm going to change that to a checkbox. And then let's change this one to a cross. Yeah, there we go. So now I've got yes, they turned up. Yes, they turned up. No, they didn't turn up. And just to confirm if I hover over, yeah, false. And then that's true. And that one's true. Good, good. Now I want total days. So I probably want to flatten all of the days and then just get a, a value for it. So hopefully if I've done this right, I'm it's going to create a table. It's going to link the rows by the file link and call that uh, total. And it's going to look from the days folder and not the days session folder. Similar to this query, look for the Danny Hatcher property and make sure it's true because I don't want the forces. Uh, flatten the link file links so all of those links that it's finding inside of the day so all of these days it's going to put them all together as d and then group by d as days so we're going to get a days then a total and hopefully the total is the length so all of them together no there's a problem oh i needed to add in the where clause so now let's have a look okay now we've got somewhere Okay, so I was having a bit of a der moment, just a quick look, and you can see, obviously, I've got table, links, row, link, so I'm still doing the, the total, but I can just go where, and then to use the same where clause as I did up here, so just where Danny Hatcher is something, so true or false, and then group by the, the field. So I'm grouping by the Danny Hatcher field in here, rather than everything else, which means I can just see true and false and then total. But the total still isn't working, so now I've got the right files, I think. I just need to add them up. Right, okay, I figured it out. So, I had I had length dot, but I don't need that, because if I go rows dot file dot length, that's basically saying, hey, list all of the files that are in this group, Danny Hatcher. So when I come out, you can see we've got the one, and then we've got the two in there, and then if I come into here, and then we go length and surround it by brackets, and now length thing the, the the bullet point list so we've got false and true so we've got one and two and then i think i also want to sort by the danny hatcher descending so when i come down yeah now we've got two and one so they've turned up to two or i've turned up to two and then i've not turned up to one you may have also noticed I'm fiddling around with using the properties instead of using inline metadata, which as you can see is changing the way that it's looking inside of the data view query. I think I'm going to delete this. So you can see now the query has gone back to the way it was. When I'm looking in this, I've got the sessions Friday 1, Friday 2, and then like I've turned up. But in here, what do I actually want to show? Because this is member specific, I want it to show what session they actually went to. So on the 19th, did they go to the session 1 or the session 2? Ah, uh, but that actually adds another question because if they turn up to Friday 1 and Friday 2 then this is going to be total days rather than total in general total sessions because this is only looking at the day file so I've made some changes we've got a folder Friday 1 and a folder Friday 2 and they've both got two dates in so uh, what well, the, the same date file so you can see this one is just the days so that is this one here then we have a Friday 2 we've got a session Friday 2 this is in the Friday 2 folder and it's the same date and then we have the same here but this is Friday 1 so now we've got sessions we've got the actual day itself and we've got session 1 and then session 2 as individual files which have the days which means Danny Hatchet now shows 4 because I've turned up to session 1 session 2 and then also the 19th and the 14th and then didn't show up on the 15th which if we have a look at the attendance I've now got Friday 2 I turned up Friday 1 I turned up etc etc if we go into the Friday 2 session and we say false well now it's going to change this and say I was not present on Friday 2 but I should have been there and just out of curiosity if I'm on the 19th and I click on 16 it takes me to yeah it takes me to the day so this is the actual day and this is session one this is session two which allows me to expand to other sessions good let's add the property we want session and then Friday one so that's always the Friday one property and then Danny Hatcher because I'm supposed to be in the session but I'm also going to need a session template so session let's go Friday session template of course session one session two now I could use a calendar but I don't think it's going to be easy if I have different days because if I go Friday it's going to automatically use one daily template yeah because when I come into the daily notes template file location it only gives me one file location but I want different so I'm gonna go to quick add I have a new member uh, let's actually change that one because I've now changed the name of that to that one yep and then let's just update both of those and now I want to add another one 
So let's go Friday session, add choice, put it into the multi so it's all under the same hotkey settings. Friday session template, create in folder. I want it to go into the days folder because this is just a normal day. I want it to open in a new split, focus on the new pane, yes. And I'm gonna leave the file format empty for the moment. Uh, let's just actually make sure I've got all those hockey sorted. So now when I go control N, enter for new Friday session, new session, enter. So now we have the new session in the days folder. Good, we got session one and session two, good, good. Let's just head back and uh, take that off. List of payment. Yeah, we're not going to do that one today. Uh, attendance record. I've pretty much done that one, actually, because we've got the attendance record here with all of the sessions. So now I just need to, the, the register appearance bit, I can do that another time. Uh, so register appearance. Okay, I think I've come up with a solution. So if we go into the settings, we have a look at a quick ad. We've got the Friday session that is that is still going on. But then inside of the template, I have a few things. Firstly, I've set the location to templates. Then if we comment down here, you can see add new folder template. So if I add a new file in the days Friday one folder, it's going to use the Friday one template. That means if I click and create a new file, it automatically adds Friday one template. Friday 2 would be Friday 2 template, and that's expandable to all the other days and sessions. And then if we go into the templates, Friday 1 template, you've still got me and then just the session 1 in there, but then the Friday session template, we have a couple of other things in. So if I change this to the source mode so you can see what's going on, I've got days Friday 1, which is using that template um, add new, and then we have in here template script, and this is bringing in the file title. Now at the moment, the file title is Friday session template, but when I create the new file, it's going to bring in the date and then I've got it showing session one because I don't want to actually show the date so if we go into the quick ad Friday session go into the settings you can see I've just put date in here so that's what it's going to show up as today's date and so practically say it's Friday I go control n yes it's a Friday session we now have a new Friday session I know 20th it's not a Friday but it would be when I create it then we've got that new file inside of the days folder and then we have session one and session two so when I click on session one it now creates a new file inside of the Friday one with the individuals that need to turn up so I say yes that person turned up now inside of well let's get rid of that template now inside of here we've got the 20th and they turned up to Friday session one if I come back you can see that session one and then in here we've got session two so I can use the Friday one template as a session register for people that have booked out and then when it comes to that session I can go into the session and it will automatically add so let's say Jane Doe is a person that has started coming to the Friday first session. Now, if I go back through this, so let's just pretend that I didn't do any of this uh, and delete all of these files and now go control N Friday session. You can see there's the session, go to session one. And now we've got Danny and Jane. So any new person gets added. I say true and then true. And you can see inside of the attendance, we've now got, yep, they turned up. And then if we go false because they didn't turn up, that's gonna go to an X like that. And then I think to clean up this uh, this attendance record, let's just sort by file name because that's the dates and then descending. So the most recent one is at the top. Yeah, there we go. So the most recent one is I didn't turn up because uh, I wasn't there. And that's the Friday one session because it says there if I click on or if I go over to Friday one, that links to the file, which is in information sessions, Friday one. So that's the Friday one file. That's the one person that's in it. I should probably change that. Oh, no, that's doing what I wanted to do because you got from the people and then where contains Friday session one. So if I go do Danny Hatcher, you can see in the sessions it's Friday one. If I go control N, new member, Jane Doe, enter and then say, oh, add properties, sessions, Friday one. Now inside of the Friday one, it should show. There you go, Jane Doe. But this is, of course, only the start of the journey because that's only a register. And then there's loads of other information such as the payment and then how that actually navigates with like using laptop going to sessions monitoring registers and all the other information that i want to see for each individual but yeah it's a work in progress